the elements of art, texture. Our studio habits of the mind, observe and understanding the art world. Our first artist that we're going to look at is Chuck Close, and he is um, 80 years old. He was born in 1940. As far as I know, he is still working. Um, he did this portrait in 1985 of a lady named, named Fanny, and um, it says it's a finger painting, and he just, you know, you can feel the fabric, you can feel the texture of her hair and her face just by looking at it. And he did all of that kind of by using values. Our next artist is Claude Monet. He's one of my favorites. Um, he painted a lot of water lily ponds and they were all on his property. Um, he was born in 1840 and he died in 1926. He lived in France his whole entire life. But if looking at this painting, you can clearly see what's um, grasses that are growing on the edge of the pond, um, the surface of the water and the trees up above. And yeah, even though it's kind of all similar colors, you can really tell by the texture what is what. Our next painter is a man named George Stubbs. He lived from seven. 1824 to 1806 he painted a lot of animals and he was really good at it as you can see um, we can really tell the curliness of this poodle's coat um, by looking and how he painted it and you know the surface of the water and even the wood of the boat that the dog is standing in so he was a really good at creating texture our next painter that we're going to look at is Martin Johnson Heed, and he is, as you can see, super good at painting hyper-realistic things. Um, he was born before there were cameras in 1819, and he lived until 1904, and cameras were invented in between there, but um, when he painted you clearly did not need a camera to be able to tell, um, you know, to be able to tell and feel like you could reach out and touch the things that he painted and um, feel how slick they were, like the leaves of this magnolia flower or the fuzziness of those green plums or the basket that they sat in. Clearly a very gifted painter. Our last painter, and I saved this for last because I think it's the most spectacular painting, um, is Jason de Graff. He was born in 1971 and he is still living as far as I can tell. And um, as you can see, he's an amazing textural painter and he's, um, his paintings are what's called hyper-realistic, kind of like um, Martin Johnson. Yeah, Martin Johnson Heed, this guy is way into showing the texture of every little thing. Like it's really, really, really there right in front of you. Um, you know, like I can really see the sugar on those gummy worms and, and I feel like I could touch that glass and feel the bumpiness of the stem of the glass and, and the lemon. I mean, it looks juicy and the smoothness of the teapot. I mean, he's a super, super gifted artist. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed looking at these textural paintings. Um, and I will see you in the next video.